Today I've got my thoughts on the Lego Batman Tumblr Scarecrow Showdown set from 2021. And this was in my backlog for a couple of years, but I finally decided to just kind of say the heck with it and build it. And I surprisingly did have all the parts for the set, though I might have come across a error in the instructions. And I wasn't actually able to fully finish the set 100%. Because the four back wheels are not actually complete. Because there is supposed to be a little like detail thing on the outer wheels. But I couldn't get those attached no matter what I did. No matter how I changed up the Technic pins. They just weren't working. So I just ended up leaving those off completely. But other than that, everything went together actually pretty good. It's not my favorite Batman set build that I've done for the amount that I have built. I'd prefer to just do a standard Batmobile, but this was kind of a nice change and to get just any scarecrow figure for the amusement park I'll take this even though one of the comic book ones would have been much much better but I'll take this one to get a scarecrow added to the amusement park so that is a nice thing as well so that pretty much will actually finish off all of the Batman villains except for the Mad Hatter which has never made a physical Batman appearance and he's the only villain from the animated series that's never actually made a physical appearance in Lego outside of the games which are all digital or physical if you count the like disc copies but really no minifigs no physical minifigs which is really unfortunate because he's one of the villains that lego just hasn't really ever done and so that'd be the last one for me to get the all the main Batman villains, none of the side ones. So, overall, that's for the minifigs, but the set itself went together actually pretty good, other than the four back wheels causing a bit of a problem. Everything else actually went together quite well, and I actually really enjoyed it. So... Overall, I thought the entire build, other than the black wheels, was actually a pretty enjoyable build. Definitely different from a Batmobile. And so, I'll probably see it paired with the 2012 Batmobile, which is my main city one for scale and stuff, mainly because my amusement park entrance is the 2012 Batman Funhouse set so I kind of scale my Batman vehicles off of the 2012 Batmobile so if it scales good with that Batmobile then I'll use it in the amusement park or around that for an amusement attraction 
because I really don't know how I'm gonna fit Scarecrow into my amusement park yet. Same with the Poison Ivy that I have waiting for me, which is gonna be really nice to add that in. Same with Killer Moth that I still have to add in as well. So that'll be three Batman villains to add into the amusement park at some point. So that'll pretty much be one of the big additions towards the end of the year here for the city is just adding in those minifigs because really I'm kind of just other than the minifigs I'm just kind of prepping to start on the Avengers Tower which will be probably my next project after I get the Indiana Jones Temple Escape done which I was originally going to do the 1989 minifig scale Batwing, but that is going to be held off probably for a while and I want to get the Temple Escape done and kind of break the unfortunate streak that I've had of not building my birthday presents or my, well especially my Christmas presents before they retire so yeah I want to build the temple escape set next so that's going to be probably my next project so that's going to be started hopefully soon but we'll see about that so overall really enjoyed the tumbler set here other than those back four wheels and just really glad to have another retired Batman set added to the collection and crazy to think six months into 2024 I'm actually still stumbling across retired Lego because I actually was out at my local Barnes and Noble just as well, a couple of weeks ago with a friend and I came across a retired Harry Potter set so yeah that was kind of unexpected I mean it wasn't one that I was ever going to get but still to find it out in the open and retired with the all the pieces because my Barnes and Noble is kind of notorious for just having the boxes sitting on shelves with no parts and just the set boxes it's like no not gonna do that but yeah that was one of the strangest finds that I've had in a while but one I was pretty easily gonna pass on so you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future including probably a mid to end year backlog update here coming soon before the end of the year but kind of in sometime in October hopefully so you guys can tell me what you think of that idea for a future video so you guys can just tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future